All right, so a cannonball is fired from a cliff. The height of the cannonball in feet is a function of time, t, uh, as you can see here. Now, part B of this question is to figure out when the ball will hit the ground. Now, since the height at the ground is zero, we'll, f we'll just replace s of t with zero and then solve for t. So this is our new expression, where again you can see we've replaced s of t with this zero here. And then we just have to figure out a value of t that will work. Now when we solve this, it's likely we're going to find a value to be negative, uh, which is fine. It's just, it doesn't really make sense in terms of this problem because we're looking in time in seconds. And you can't really have a negative amount of seconds. So... We're really just looking for the positive value here. Now, in order to make the factoring of this polynomial a little bit easier, uh, yeah, you could use the quadratic formula or even completing the square, but it looks like we're not even going to need it. We can just go back to the basics on this and really factor by grouping. So let's go ahead first and factor out, to make this a little bit easier, factor out a 4 from each of these terms, because each of them are multiples of 4. So after factoring out a 4, we have 4 times the quantity, negative 4t squared, plus 16t, plus 65. So what we're going to want to do next, of course, to factor by grouping, is multiply negative 4 times 65, which would be a negative 260. Now we want two factors of negative 260 to add up to a positive 16. So we know if we use a 26 and 10, which is actually one of the easier ones to figure out from this, if we make the 10 a negative, these would add up to 16. So we know how to uh, factor these by grouping. We're going to split the 16t up into our two factors here, 26 and then minus 10t. So 26t minus 10t would indeed give us that 16t. So with the rest of this expression, we can split these up into two different expressions and factor out the common factors between the two terms each. So as we can see, after factoring out a, two, a negative 2t from both of these terms and a negative 5 from these two terms, negative 10t plus 65, we end up with this new expression. Now we have these two terms, as you can see them underlined, and I can factor out a 2t minus 13 from both of those terms. So looking at that, I would have a 2t minus 13, and then what's left over from those two terms after I factor that out? Well, I'd have a negative 2t minus 5. So what about these, because I, I could get rid of this 4, by the way, this one right here, just by dividing both sides by zero, uh, 4, rather. But that's not going to make a difference. Uh, what I really need to figure out is what value of t will make these two factors 0. And if we look at the yellow term, by solving, by making that factor equal to 0, we would find that t would equal positive 13 halves. Now on the other hand, this other term in purple and blue, that would give us where t equals a positive, uh, I'm sorry, a rather negative 5 halves. But since t can be negative, we know that this green answer can give us a true statement because, again, we're looking in time, and time in seconds, we can't have a negative value. So this would be 13 half seconds. We could just simplify it into a decimal and say that it's about six and a half seconds. After we fire this cannon, it should hit the ground. All right, thanks for watching this video.